What up, guys? This is Casey's Raw again, and this is part 22 of consoles, games, and stories from my life. Uh, this is, today is about the Hyperkin Retron 5. Um, I didn't really think I was gonna do one on this one, because this system shorted out on me. But, I think it kind of does deserve a talk about it. Um, I really liked it. It's kind of really awesome system. Uh, one of the things I was kind of thinking back in the day when I heard of what was going to be called the Nintendo Wii was called the Nintendo Revolution was the code word. Uh, this is what I was kind of thinking it was going to look like. It was going to have a bunch of cartridge slots. Like, you could have your uh, Nintendo, your Super Nintendo, your N64. And then, like, a disc so you can play the GameCube. And then a, uh, for the Wii. But, that's what I would have done. But this is what I was saying about what, what kind of reminds me about from the back of the day. But as the Retron 5, this is cool because it would play the Famicom is the Japanese and version of NES. Then you can play the NES, Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis. And what's cool with the SNES one is that you can play the Super Famicom games in there. Uh, you can... If you had the Master System uh, adapter, you could play Master System through the GameCube. No, through the game from the Genesis port. And then uh, you could play Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color through the slot. But uh, what was cool... And then you have the... Controller inputs on both sides. There's what the covers look like. The other covers are missing. But, um, one of the coolest things about the system is, uh, the use of an SD card. You could use this to, uh, if you have Japanese games and you want to play them, but you don't ha you can't read Japanese. Well, you can just go on on the internet and find a patch, and it'll patch the game. But uh, yeah, as and then one of the coolest things is like I can take my mother too and um, get a patch and. It'll Completely changed that game from Mother 2 to Earthbound. Completely. They just take the ROM and changed it. And. You, yeah. Like I said. You can translate it. It's a good translation machine. Like someone said before. But. I think it's a great system. It's just. What sucks, this one shorted out on me. I've been wanting to get another one. It's great just to... Because it runs HDMI. It, it's not actually... It's an emulator machine as well. So, I mean... Yeah. Like, it... If you, I bet if you can jailbreak this... That you don't really need the cart. It, like... You, if you have like some crazy amount of storage in on your SD card, you could probably store a bunch of the games once you dump the ROM in there. But uh, granted to them, they did it where you're not supposed to do that. You just put the game in, it will dump the ROM into the system, and you play the game. But they said their goal is 100%. Uh, with the 
with the system uh, that the support. But that is not true because it would not do games like reproductions, uh, bootlegs, or anything kind of weird. It would not use like a game genie, uh, anything add on. Let's say like sa like Sonic and Knuckles. You put the Sonic and Knuckles, and then you put like Sonic Two or Sonic Three on. T they'll only recognize Sonic and Knuckles. They won't see you have Sonic Two or Three plugged in at all. Anything where a game can be um, attached to something else won't read like a game genie. I don't know a normal game genie would fit through here in the NES, but I know for the Super Nintendo probably would. Same thing with the Genesis probably would, but it won't recognize it. It'll bring them up and they're like, once you bring up after... The Game Genie's um, open screen, it will not go to the game. It's kind of weird. You figure it could, but... Dude, this could have been like the ultimate system. It pretty much kind of is. But, shoot, if this thing also had a disk drive and maybe a card slot for, like, game... You can play the TurboGrafx-16 games and... The Sega card games from the Sega Master System. Yeah, this would have been like the ultimate game system. If anyone who could have done an add-on with this damn thing. No, if they an add-on and would really do well. Would be the Retro 5. Because, like I said, this damn thing could be the ultimate machine. I mean, play CDs and DVDs. And then they would play cartridge, it plays portable cartridges, it would play uh, cards. This could be, there's something close to it. Um, I know the, I think it's the Retro Freak, or, or the Game Freak or something that's even better than this. Where it does have the card slot for uh, Turbo Graphics. But it's been more expensive than the Retron 5. And then there's another system. Eh, they have recently changed their name. Where they do play uh, CD or DVD games. Like play Sega CD. Play uh, Sega Saturn. They're thinking about playing Dreamcast. A bunch of CD games from the 32-bit era. But, uh, what was weird about that system, if you want to play any of those genre of CDs, you had to have the modules. It's not just like this where it has different slots. It has the system, well, you take out the system and you put a NARD brick to play the NES then you take that brick out, you put another brick in, and you play G Sega Genesis. You pull that brick out, you pull the Super Nintendo, you pull that one out, and and then I think by itself it'll play Turbo Graphics, or maybe it's a brick, you put the Turbo Graphics in it. But with those attachments, I'm calling bricks. Uh, could play the CD versions like Turbo Graphics would play the Turbo Graphics sixteen CD games, while the Sega Genesis would play the Sega CD games, and I assume the Saturn and the Dreamcast. But uh, I didn't think I was gonna go this long. I thought this would be a mini video of it, but. I just saw this, I was bored, and just figured through a kind of history. And also, one of the things, they kind of, Hyperkin stole some uh, the emulation. I think it was free 
uh, where they stole. So I figured this gotta be system is not gonna be coming out out not much longer. Well, obviously something happened where they're able to continue to produce these things, but. Uh, I highly suggest these, but as anything as a clone system, uh, I would say this is probably one of the best to go to. I mean, they're prone to break, and they're prone to really hard to pull the cartridge out, but also, look at this generic looking controller. I mean, you play these with the all the games it is bluetooth but the grip sucks i mean yeah the grip really sucks maybe the tr the troll stick wherever is okay it's not great and then weird buttons you got tr tr trigger uh, shoulder buttons i don't even know what the hell these buttons do but i guess other soldier buttons but uh, like I said, I highly suggest one of these systems if you guys want a quick way to play Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis. I think this was mostly global wide. That's probably why they had the Famicom slot, so you can and where it's converted, so you can play the Super Famicom. And pro you can probably even maybe fit the uh, Japanese uh, Sega Genesis or what's in Japan called the Mega Drive. But I, like I said, I highly suggest getting these. So thank you for watching. Bye.